We meet again at the strangest of times, young Ekon. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget? What are you doing here? Your friend, the wise Ekon. She sent me to warn you. Did anyone see you? It's a long way from the dock sewers, and hunters are patrolling the streets here. Who said I took the streets? How do you think I survived for centuries in this city without ever being seen? I know all her secrets. How did you meet Lady Ashbury? She came to us in the sewers in search of answers. Just as you did. Lady Ashbury in the sewers? Now that's a sight I wish I'd seen. She said she was your friend, and that she sought the identity of your maker. So I answered her questions. What kind of answers did you give her? I knew nothing of your maker, but we talked. We talked a lot. Her words and ideas are captivating. It is no surprise that you like her. I like her too. Lady Ashbury? You know her? Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago, wanting to meet the sewer skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones, she agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then? How is she doing? Harriet remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. Wait, slow down. I need to ask you something. I'm listening, but I do not have time to waste, so be quick. Where is Lady Ashbury right now? She said she will go home. She needed to speak with some old friends first, though. Do not worry, young Ekon. She is no fool, and just as strong as you. Why do I feel like Lord Redgrave was particularly irritated to see you? Far more so than the average Skull, if I may say. Because I used to know him quite well. And he is afraid I may remember who he really is. You're Elizabeth's informant. You're the one who told her about Lord Redgrave's lies regarding his lineage. Yes, but my words were not meant to hurt or threaten. I simply told the story of the Sewer Skulls, and of so many other forgotten children. How did Elizabeth find you? She presented herself humbly at our gate, and asked if we knew of any ancestral vampires hiding in London. She asked about Ascalon. She asked about many things. What do you think of her? Her soul is good, yet tainted with a deep sadness and the scars of ancient wounds. Time does that to us immortals, for we have so much to dwell upon. Why did she come to you? I am old Bridget, the buried memory of the city. She sought the silent truths, truths I have kept hidden for so long. No time to lose, then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Tell her I worry about her. Do not, for she has had strength and wisdom for so much longer than you. Go now and take care, young Ekon, for the flames are rising.
Its effectiveness has been proven by many. Good evening, Benjamin. Can I help you? I'm afraid not, Mr. Reed. You don't seem well, Benjamin. Do you need any help? I always feel ill, sir. It's like I'm never right. I can try to help your body heal, sir. But you must stop destroying it. The war destroyed me, Doctor. Whatever the boy did, I'm sure he didn't deserve a public execution. I swear I didn't want to hit him. It's just that I'm sick in the end, you see, and the boy just, he just faked me last nerve. Perhaps you could focus for a moment and tell me your troubles. I'm sick, broke, and my son just stole my pills. Everything's coming up roses. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. Good evening, miss. Good evening, sir. Are you interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic? Actually, I am. Then you have come to the right place. The famous Swanborough Cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh. Really? Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Dr. Jonathan Reed. Ah, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure to meet a fellow healer. Tell me. Who intrigues you most in Whitechapel? The region itself is something to see, but I would say Camellia the mute florist who gives away her flowers. Is there anyone I should avoid? Cadogan Bates, without a doubt. The bloody bastard remorselessly exploits poor migrants as soon as they get here. What do you think of the locals? Most of them are afraid or desperate. They all come to me eventually for my remedy. You look ill, Miss Swanborough. I wonder if your concoction will do the trick. Hmm. I have no doubt it will. But I'm not against a second opinion, Dr. Reed. Well, there you have it. Take this remedy, but be discreet. It may damage your business otherwise. Thank you. How is the sanitary situation evolving in Whitechapel these days? When people buy guns instead of medication, it means they have already traded hope for fear in their hearts. In my book, that's never a good thing, Doctor. Goodbye, Miss Swanborough. Perhaps we'll talk again. If I could get some working, everything. Hello, Mr. Petrescu. Hello, Dr. Reed. Come on in. If you want to talk to Dorothea, you must go across the courtyard and take the stairs. We've not been formally introduced. May I ask your name and occupation, sir? I am Darius Petrescu. I'm here to keep snitches and spies away from Dorothea. And I also run this little print shop. Do you need some help, Mr. Petrescu? I am very tired, but that is all. I don't need you, Doctor. Well, I think you do. Take this, and you'll feel better. Free drugs from an English doctor? <laughs> It must be my lucky day. How did you meet Nurse Crane, Darius? Why does she trust you? 
I'm her oldest friend in England. Dorothea and I share many ideas about this country and about the country we left. You mean occupied Romania, don't you? Even if not directly, I fought against your enemies. Really? Then perhaps you have more in common with Dorothea than meets the eye, Dr. Reed. I know you fought for your country when it was occupied, Darius. Tell me more about it. I know my days are numbered, and I know I won't see my homeland again. But I fought for Romania all my life, and I will until my last breath. But Romania escaped the grasp of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. It's a free country again. But it's not the country I fought for. My homeland is not a beast, Doctor. And I still see a dark future ahead for my people. Do you have any family left, Mr. Petrescu? Children or grandchildren? Who knows? I have abandoned my people for so long, they might as well be dead. As dead as I am for them, I suppose. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. Welcome back, Dr. Reed. Good evening, nurse. How should I address you? Dorothy? Dorothea? Miss Crane? Dorothy is all right. If you don't mind me calling you Jonathan. That's fine with me. What can I do for you then, Jonathan? I hope you've stopped jeopardizing this facility with your illegal business, Dorothy. Yes, I have. Most of the time. But the blackmail money is too useful to stop it completely. I just target less dangerous people. Who is the current victim? I would rather you did not know. You are my client, not my accomplice. Besides, I'm much more cautious since the first time you found me. Why did you blackmail Lady Ashbury? She's a generous person. You could have asked her for money directly. She killed those patients, I'm sure of that. I know you like her, but that ginger head has a taste for blood. Do you need medical help, Dorothy? I'm a professional nurse. Rest assured, I'll ask for your help if I need it. Goodbye for now, Dorothy. Keep up the good work. Are you all right? The bastard at the wall next to me. I don't even know if he meant to miss. If you've been hurt, I can help you. I'm a doctor. Name's Albert. Remember it. Now bugger off. Do you need assistance? Please. Feeling tired these days. There you go. Let's hope nobody steals it from you. Very funny. What happened? 
Did you really steal that man's medication? Hey, I didn't do anything. It ain't me. Yes, you did. And it was cowardly and inexcusable. Sod off, mister. You ain't got no clue what's going on here. Bastard was a soldier in the war, so now he's got the right to shoot me. It's true. I'm not familiar with this part of town. Perhaps you could help me. I said sod off. Go find yourself another guide. Goodbye, young man.
Rebo.
Defeated Fergal Pancha! What is this truck? Are the vampire hunters here already? Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Do you need medical help yourself, Nurse? I'm afraid I've contracted some illness, Dr. Reed. Not under my watch, Nurse. Take this. You'll feel better. Thank you, Dr. Reed. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Are you all right? I heard the hospital was attacked. Poor Dr. Swansea. He was the only one to stand up to those brutes. And now they've dealt with him. Where is Dr. Swansea? I don't know. I hid behind a tent. I saw nothing. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Those bastards. What have they done to Edgar? Looks like he's wounded. I better follow the blood.
Ultraviolet uh, curtains and Ori Calcum powder. Uh, Dr. Swansea's uh, always been a resourceful bastard. Uh, I bet he never told you he had this installed in case of a vampire attack. Uh, 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 Says a lot about uh, how much he trusts you. What have you done with Edgar? Don't worry. Uh, we don't kill humans. Uh, Even if your friend is deserving uh, of a little punishment for what. What are you talking about? We know everything. Swansea and you created this bloody epidemic. You aim to unleash another disaster just like William Marshall did. No, I'm trying to put an end to it. Just like you are. You're the progeny, aren't you? Where is the monster hiding? It's still in England, isn't it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Jeffrey, please listen to me. No tricks. That shit won't work on me. We found proof in the theater. Doris Fletcher was your first experiment. Now where is Marshall? Speak! Uh. 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 <laughs> so much for modern technology. Time for the tried and true. Do you know what this is, beast? This is a drop of King Arthur's blood. The blood of a true defender of Britain. Stronger than your evil powers. This is ridiculous. We're losing precious time. True enough. Soon I'll bring your head before your coward of a father. So close your eyes. This is gonna hurt. Come on, Reed. Try something else. True light will cleanse you. Or pin you down. Show some style. Fight like a man. Your poisonous bite is useless on me. of a true defender of this land will protect me. 
Close your eyes! This is gonna hurt! I'll pin you down! Why does simple night burn you so much? I know! It hurts, doesn't it? Close your eyes! This is gonna hurt! the guardian of justice. Prewin shall prevail. You can't accept the fact we're not enemies, can you? <laughs> we always have been, and we always will be. Of all the evils that threaten mankind, your kind are the worst. I was only reborn for a few minutes before you and your men hunted me down like a beast. You were only reborn for a few minutes, and you'd already taken the life of an innocent woman. There is no way you'll ever let me be, McCollum. You'll always hunt me down, won't you? There is no escape, Leech. Kill me now, for there is no way you can sway me to your ideals. I'll make you a vampire. I'll make you one of us. 
No! Kill me! <laughs> Prepare yourself, Hunter. You're about to be hunted. Just uh, like me. No! No! When I kissed you, uh, uh, goodbye. Uh, I had no idea what I was doing. But now I do. Consider this my kiss of Judas. Uh, Uh-uh. <laughs>